Hey, good morning. It's Monday, 3.17 a.m. I'm on my way to the gym right now. Uh, I had a couple people ask me something. Why do you get up so early? I don't think they, they asked it in a malicious way. I think they asked it because they didn't really get or they were trying to figure out something for themselves. And initially, it was to see if I could get more out of my day. And then it became a challenge. After the challenge, it became somewhat of a curiosity. And then after curiosity, it becomes somewhat of a habit. And after the habit, it became a way of being. It's how I start my day. Like some people need a cup of coffee, a cigarette, uh, um, affirmations, motivate, whatever you need to do in the morning. It has become a part of my regular routine. And... I much rather pay the price now. I've determined in my mind that there's gonna be a price to pay for what it is I want. There is, there's gonna be a price to pay for what I want. If I want mediocre, the price I have to pay is for living a mediocre life and being able to accept that. Uh, the price I have to pay for living above and beyond dreams and visions is a sacrifice of certain things certain things that some people consider creature comfort. Some people consider needing a cigarette is a creature comfort, needing sugar, food, whatever that may be, creature comfort. I do it because I'm willing to pay the sacrifice now versus later. To me, it's important how I live the second part of my life versus what I can sacrifice during the first part of my life and really start to enjoy things as I get older where I can set and prepare a foundation for the people coming behind me, even after I'm gone. I believe that every single step, every single thing I have committed to, or I am dedicated to, or I am disciplined to, or I am routined into, will become something that is passed down because I know my kids are watching me. So it becomes a lot more than just waking up in the morning. It's a way of life. It's a way of being. We were talking yesterday, I went, uh, sorry, I had to get that off, it annoyed the hell out of me. Um, we're getting ready for church. I told Ricky I was gonna go grab a coffee and I'm grabbing my coffee and I decided to sit down in the parking lot and journal. I started journaling and I believe, let me see if I can actually find it. I believe that while I was journaling, I had come to a conclusion. Yes, here's what I wrote. Sorry about the camera work. It says, sow seed daily in order to reap come harvest time. And I was excited. I wrote that down and I came home and I said, I said, Rick, where's your family from? And I, I knew her, where her family was from. I said, what's the main uh, source of income in that area? He said, farming. I said, yeah. I said, what do farmers do at certain periodical times? She says, well, they plant seeds. And then what do they do? Then they wait to gather the seed. They wait till the seed grows crop. And then they harvest it. And after they've harvested it, they receive their reward. I said, well, what happens in between the time that they plant the seed and they harvest the seed and they receive their reward for the work that they've done? She says, they're waiting on it to grow. The, the story was, is most farmers, do they get nervous during the waiting process? Do they get over anxious? Do they have concern? Are they worried that the crop is going to be destroyed in between the time it was planted and it was sowed? Are they worried about the birds eating all the seed? Or have they sowed more than enough seed that if even a, bir a billion birds came, they couldn't take all the seed that they, that they had in there? She says, no, they wait patiently. And the reason why they wait patiently is because they have a knowledge and they have an understanding of doing this and having it in their heritage of harvest, of reaping what they sow, is that the patient part is inside of the waiting for it to come, come to fruition. And I said, that's how we need to apply things in our life. We need to sow seed daily. We need to sow more than enough. 
one apple seed doesn't bring back one apple, it bears multiple apples. So every seed you sow bears multiple uh, returns. And I said, Ricky, we need to do that. We need to keep our mind on sowing every single day and we need to have patient while we're sowing that eventually our harvest will come in. And we know that when farmers, farmers don't just typically uh, farm a small area, they typically farm hundreds of acres because it's that important that they gather enough during harvest season to get their reward, their just reward for their daily sowing and toiling and turning and watching and treating. How about we apply our lives in that exact same way that we sow the seed of what we want? If you sow negativity, you're gonna reap negativity. If you sow abundance, you'll reap abundance. If you sow give, you will reap receive. Make sense? Sow and watch it and reap. But you have to be patient in the middle because God's promise is true. You have to be patient while you're waiting for the harvest to come in. God bless, take care, it's Monday morning. It is now 6.29, I am on my way to the gym. I'm gonna have a great workout. I'm gonna have a great day, I'm excited. I've put a lot of new processes and systems in place that I've been, you know, my my family's had the patience and I had a talk with Ricky this weekend and I said, hey Rick, I said, listen, I got a couple systems that I wanna put in place but I believe that they're gonna take my business to the next level. So I need you to just have patience with me and tell you what, I do you want better. I promise you that if you give me the time I need, I'll make it back up to you and I'll, I'll make sure that I pay you back tenfold. And she was, she was good with that. She said, I understand, put it together, do what you gotta do. I know my time will come. So I appreciated that. So we had a great weekend, spent it with my family, spent it doing some work, putting some systems together. Now coming into Monday, I'm ready to rock and roll and exercise it. I'm ready to start reaping what I'm sowing, but I understand, I'll, I'll do it in time. Right now I'm just gonna, I'm focused on sewing. I'm gonna keep sewing. I'm gonna keep sewing, And then I'm gonna keep it in my mind what I'm sewing for. And I'm gonna have faith that I'll reap the benefits of that sewing, And I'll sew faithfully every day, every day. God bless, take care, all right?